How are you? Just a couple of things. Uh, nothing, nothing huge. I wanted to show you that I am working on the tiger. These eyes were a real pita. Uh, had a very hard time with them, getting them the right size, the right color, the right look. I ended up having to paint them. Just didn't work out real well, so I'm I am diddling with that. And this is a piece I'm making with the faux um, opal that I showed you last week. This is going to be very pretty. Believe it or not, I have to take this apart and redo the netting around the center. It's the counts are wrong. I just have to adjust them. And I made, I found this stuff, I've seen it a lot, I just never, never picked it up. This, this variegated metal foiling, it's really pretty. And when you put it in your resin, you get a marvelous, beautiful, wonderful, effect. They're just gorgeous. So it was kind of expensive, but if you find a coupon, a lot cheaper. Liking these a lot. So I can't wait to use them. They're still hardening. This one is really pretty. But it flies everywhere. Oh my god, this stuff is, you know, gold leaf. How, how like microscopically thin it is yeah it's just like that so it just it just I got it all over this room I'm have to vacuum and it's everywhere um, it just flies all over but it's so pretty another thing a viewer Denise um, sent me a message asking about foundation material for bead embroidery and I've gone over this in the past but <clears throat> Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I know a lot of people use that, uh, stuff, Lacey's Stiff Stuff. Years ago, when I first wanted to try bead embroidery, I bought some of that. And yes, it worked beautifully. It, it really works nice. However, because I'm in the the uh, decoration business for fashion, I couldn't see any difference between Lacey's and a very heavy interfacing called Peltex from Pellon. This is a, I had to buy some, I stood in line for like an hour to buy some from Joann's, a pain. But it's Pellon's, a, a material made by Pellon Peltex 70 Ultra Firm Stabilizer. You can use any he heavy weight stabilizer or interfacing, you know, craft interfacing. It comes in lots of weights. Um, this is just the thickest and the heaviest. And I don't know if I can show you because it's a big old thing, big roll. I bought two yards. Okay, this is how thick it is. It's extremely stable. You can paint it, dye it, cut it, draw on it. Um, it, it, stay, it keeps its shape. It stays where you want it to stay. Uh, it's, it's fusible. You can fuse things to it like I did with this. I just fused. I used some double stick fusing material and fused it on to my black material. However, it's six dollars a yard. A yard. <laughs> and I can't I can't for the life of me see the advantage to Lacey's. If anybody knows what the advantage is, please fill me in because I haven't found one yet. And uh, people write to me because I try to find ways to save money and uh, this is one way 
Um, I'm friends with a lot of uh, sewers and designers and uh, one woman I know, Dawn, she is a purse designer. She makes handbags and she uses this stuff in her handbags and she uses it because it's it, it keeps its shape. It's The handbag is going to stay structured and firm and it's not going to fall apart or lose its shape or slump or anything like that. And this is what I use for bead embroidery and have for many years. So that's the stuff. And for six dollars a yard, or maybe less if you find if you get a coupon on a coupon day or something. Great. Oh, I don't I don't get lacies. I don't get it. I mean, um, I've used it, I liked it, but I saw no difference between that very expensive stuff and Peltex. Anybody knows, you know, the advantage? I'm all ears. I don't get it. And what else? Oh! <laughs> Mistake. All right, I try to make a collar. <laughs> I mean, it came out okay. However, I, I cut it wrong. It should have been more tapered here so I could get a clasp or something on the back. I could probably use a clasp on the back, but mm -mm. nope. It's just, it just, it, it'll sit on your neck, but it's so stiff. I use so much interfacing in this that it sits like a, like a ring. <laughs> it doesn't lay flat. I'm not sure how to make it lay flat. I don't know. I'm still messing with this. When I figure it out, I'll totally let you know. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know. I don't get it. What else? Oh. Oh! In, when I was at one of my weekly jaunts at Michael's, I went to the confetti department looking for more of this kind of material for making the cabs. This white is really pretty. And they had confetti made out of the same stuff. Did I make one yet? I'm trying to see. Oh, the red I did. I'll show you the red. It had red, which is what I really wanted. I really like the red. And it came out right here. Came out real nice. I mixed the red with some of the white. And they're, they're gray. Real nice. Well, on a hunting expedition for this beautiful glittery stuff. Somebody mentioned confetti.com. I went there. Yes, they have it. Uh, I haven't been able to check the prices yet. I checked it on my phone when I was at work. I'm swamped busy. I am a busy, busy girl at home and at work. So if you want to check out confetti.com, I know they have that, that stuff. This It's the same stuff. Uh, that's all. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Have a good week. Stay happy. Stay inspired. Be creative. Make lots of stuff. It'll make you happy. It will. I'm telling you. All right. I got laundry and dishes and crap to do. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Any questions? Bye.